are way over here, and we're seeing on yonder bulletin board, Diamond Water Paradox. All right. Um, uh, Ren, go ahead and, and get a microphone for me, please. And uh, you can hear me, but I really want the, the rest of the class to look. You look at them, Ren, and, and you tell them your answer here, okay? So, Ren, and it's purely hypothetical. In a couple, you're nervous, Ren. In a couple of years from now, it is possible, Ren, that a young man could drop down on one knee. Okay, and a couple years. Uh, you want it to be sooner than that? No. Oh, okay. It's hypothetical. I'm not tomorrow. Oh, all right. Calm down. Uh, Thirty years. Give me a time frame, Ren, to work with. You're speechless. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's go with seven. Okay. Okay. Eight. Okay. Okay. We'll go with eight. It's hypothetical. All right. So it drops down on one knee and says, uh, Ren, will you just make me the happiest man in the universe by allowing me to spend the rest of of our earthly temporal days together and uh, be my wife. Now, before you answer, he takes out the ring, Ren. You ready for this? Okay. And it, it is a ring, and on top of this ring is a bottle of water. <laughs> Ren, that water represents purity, life-giving nourishment, energy, Everything that symbolizes your future marriage. What are you going to say, Ren? Hydration is important. <laughs> You're going to say hydration is important? <laughs> no, it's a yes or no. You're going to say yes to him? I give him an answer later. <laughs> you just did, Ren. <laughs> you just did. All right. There you go. Um, students watching with us eight years from now? Right across Ren's path? <laughs> While she thinks hydration is important, she thinks a rock is from a piece of coal is much, much more important. Okay? Diamond water paradox.